Hello guys, DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Sauce Man with 878 rating versus Skitty the Dog with 1155 rating. So it's going to be another high rated video. Let's hop right on. So Skitty the Dog wins the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and is going to get to choose to go first or second. Uh, he is going to choose to go first. And the opening hands is Jack. Ash, Debug, Foxy, and Ash. Uh, not a good hand. He does have one hand trap going second. So, uh, it's better than none. And then he opened up Crusadia, Arborea, Moral Tech, Ogre, Ash, and Droll. Uh, so, it's weird enough as this sounds. Uh, this would be full combo, but he does have Ash. So he's going to normal summon Droll, link it away for the saddle link, special summon Arbora, link in the needle fiber, and the needle fiber is just going to get ashed here. He's going to sub moral tech and pass. So it looks like he's playing uh, uh, what, needle fiber artifact, I guess you call her artifact turbo. Uh, you pretty much just want to like get your artifact dungeon going with those. Uh, you normal summon Foxy, no effect, uh, link in the bay links. Uh, he said, think on summon. Uh, so if he wants to, he could use his Christron effect to bring out the TG to destroy Moral Tech to destroy Foxy. Uh, I don't think it's worth waiting to ogre for the bailing so if that's what you're doing because they just bring back fox like you planned on doing anyways so bailing's effect uh, add i mean i i would ogre that but it's not gonna stop the salad engine now because now he's gonna have a face up uh he's gonna get his discard with foxy so now he's gonna get jack engrave which is really important uh summon out the foxy uh, thinking on summon, use the Crestron. I like that it does banish, so it plays around called by. Uh, not in this situation. Like, called by would kill him right here, but. Because he could just TG effect on his set. Uh, and then effect right here, he could chain called by, but. He's gonna pop his Moral Tech, and then Moral Tech bring itself out. Uh, to destroy Foxy. Uh. I don't know. Maybe it was worth destroying Bailinx. Nah, no, no, yeah, definitely destroy Foxy. And then if he wants to, he could uh, synchro into a ten or into the uh, ultimate, uh, where you set one, you get to summon a dragon synchro from the extra. I don't know its name, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Jack on Bailinx. Then Link into Hita. Hita effect to bring back the salad. Could chain Ogre. So he Ogres it. Uh, now he is going to get his Ablaze effect, which is going to let him search Gazelle, which is going to be good. Oh, oh, oh alright. Uh, he didn't actually use the search effect. Alright, so if you guys don't know, it says right here. If it's destroyed by battle or card effect, or opponent's card effect, add a fire with 15 or less defense from deck to hand. I know it doesn't come up all that much, but I don't know, it's pretty good. Uh, draws Phantasme. So he's not drawing like any of his needle fiber turbo cards. TG Wonder attack for 19, Moral Tech attack for 21, 4000, and then pass. Debug effect, that's gonna get ashed. Uh, so the mining top deck was actually really good, and he has a Falco to discard. Oh. Alright, so he discards Ash instead of Falco, so that way you can bring out Foxy. Maybe he's trying to just go for game. Uh, discard, summon out Foxy, bring out Gazelle, 
Gazelle effect. Sun Rage. No, I don't think he's trying to go for game. Falco on that. I mean, he could go for, like, the transcode package just to threaten these guys. But I don't think discarding the hash was right. Uh, brings out Wolf. Make Wolf. Wolf add back Rage. Put back Wolf. Bring out Jack. Uh, add back Ash. So, yeah, why didn't he phantasm me? You know, this has been a thing on the channel. Like, the last, like, two videos, I think it is, like, people are just not dropping their phantasmes. Why are people holding phantasmes so long? It just doesn't make sense. Because now, like, now he can't drop it. He could have dropped it before Ash was in hand. He's going to synchro for White or uh, Bahamut during his opponent's turn. And then this lets you summon a token uh, during your turn when this card... Oh, so once per turn during the opponent's turn, if you have no token, you can just bring one out. So bring out a 3,300 attack token with 3,000 defense. Alright, brings out a big token, draws ghost spell. So this guy really hasn't drawn any needle fiber turbo cards. That really sucks. Uh, Rage is going to pop these two, and he's going to flip Dweller, or not flip, use Dweller. And then Skitty the Dog's going to emit defeat. Uh, I don't know, he, he didn't get to like his like engine really there. Uh, and then game two, the opening hand is Ash, Desires, Mind Control, Imperial Order, Dark Really No More. Dark, no, Dark Really No More is an insane card this format, by the way. It just outs like every board. Uh, except for like Spiral, uh, but he does have Ash as a hand trap, and then he has Dark Ruler and Mind Control to break through the boards, but he doesn't have any salads, he's going to have a draw for turn and draws off Desires. Uh, his opponent's hand is Called By, Sangan, Reborn, Phantasme, and Spore. Uh, I'm guessing Spore is for like after you've already gone through your Glow Bulb, you can just like Spore. Uh, but he does have called by for Ash. Really important because Wolf's not going to be able to add it back. And then Sangan's uh, full combo. Because you can normal summon, link into the salad, add the Crusadia. Special summon the Crusadia. Because it's not activating an effect to do that. Make Needle Fiber. Or, ha I, I don't know, Halo. Halo with a Q. Uh, gets called by it on Ash. Brings out Glow Bulb. Link that away for Link Kribo. Glow Bulb, Mill 1. Mill's Mind Control. And then he's going to make the Artifact with uh, Glow Bulb and Link Kribo. Uh, goes for the Artifact Dagda. And then pass this turn. And he draws Nib. Oh, that, that's unfortunate. Dropping that last turn would have been very good. Uh, but he's going to Dark Ruler no more. And that stops everything that he did. Uh, desires. Drawing Mind Control and Rage. Uh, bad draws. Uh, but he banished Jack. Gazelle, Sanctuary, Foxy, Will. Pretty much he just banished Gazelle Sanctuary off that. Mind Control, take Needle Fiber. Mind Control, take the Artifact. Link Summon in the Phoenix. Yeah, I guess there's not really too many options to make. If you played uh, Avermax, you could make Avermax. He's dropping Phantasme on the summon. Draws Nib and Sangan. Uh, he's going to put back Sangan. Set Order and Rage and Pass. Rage is dead. Order will hit the Reborn. But he won't have anything to stop like the combo with Needle Fiber. Normal summon steam, make the salad, steam give you, so you play, 
two salad, which makes sense if he's playing a lot of sand gans, uh, sand gans and steams, because they can't go into Link Rebo. Bring out token, steam, bring itself out, Link in the needle fiber, steam and needle fiber go off. Bringing that out. And then he's going to drop Nib, which is going to leave him with only one token because Steam's going to, oh, he's going to give him two tokens. Steam's going to give him a token here. And Nib's also going to give him a token. So if you play something like Beat Cop, he could make that uh, IP even. Uh, he's going to make Nightmare, Discard, and Spore, Pop Order. That's really good, too. Banish Glow Bulb for Spore. Uh, link into Unicorn. Discard Nib. Shuffle back the back row. Um, I don't know where he's going to go with this from here. Reborn on Steam. Make Zero Boros, maybe. Yeah, make zero boros. Steam, bring out token. Uh, then he does have the setup engrave because he has Link Karibo engrave. Uh, during his opponent's turn, if he wants to, he can tribute the token away to bring out Link Karibo to banish the board of zero boros. That's a play I've been doing in Orcus a lot. Uh, zero, attack over nib. Uh, draws rage. Dead draw, he admits defeat. Uh, he didn't even see a salad monster that game. Uh, but game three, I'm assuming the salad player is going to be going first. Opens up Jack, Bufferlo, Sign at Mining, Roar, Order. And then his, uh, so this is a good hand. His opponent opened up Desires, Crusadia, Steam the Cloak, uh, Wind Kaiju, and then Evenly. So, evenly kaiju breaks a lot of boards. Uh, mining, discard, roar, add gazelle. Normal summon buffalo, get rid of it. Bring out bailing, bailing, and gazug both go off. Add sanctuary. D I mean, not gazelle, buffalo. I'm sorry. Discard jack, draw two. Draws anti spell. Uh, he already had order, but I guess he's not going to need to flip order now. He has anti-spell. Bring out Gazelle, Gazelle. Effect, send Falco. Falco to bounce back, Gazelle. Uh, to play around Nib. Then link those two away for Wolf. Activate Sanctuary, relink in the Wolf. Wolf effect, add back Roar. Jack effect on Wolf. And then Wolf Effect to add back, he adds back Falco there. And then set Order, Roar, Anti-Spell, Pass, Standby Phase, Flip Anti-Spell. He's going to make Bailing Stun Pass, which does play around to Kaiju. Uh, but he's going to Standby, Flip Anti-Spell. He could Kaiju him. Not too sure he's going to go with this here. So he's going to normal steam. Attack bailings. So he lets it die. Summons a kaiju over wolf. So now roar is turned off. So now he's pretty much just playing with no spells. And against a crow. So no desires. So he drops Gazelle here, Gazelle effect. He's going to send Will, which is kind of weird because he has anti spell. But he's going to link into the salad, Steam, bring out a token, Steam, tribute for cost to try to bring himself out. He's going to drop Crow there. 
uh, special summon the Crusadia, and then make needle fiber, needle fiber effect, bring out glow bulb, link in the link rebo bulb, get rid of evenly off the top. Summons his own kaiju. Then Link 4. In the Zero Boros again. Um, so he's going to Link Karibo effect, bring itself out, Zero Boros, banish everything, then desires. Uh huh. Not not too bad. I mean, you know that he has a Falco. So, uh, I don't know. I think that was a good play, just getting rid of everything like that. I think summoning the Gazelle there was a weird play, though. I don't get why you would summon Gazelle just to send Will. Especially when Will wasn't doing anything. Uh, Joel's Desire is in Crusadia, so he's going to have to pass here. And... If Sauce Man draws like a spinny or something, then it's game over. Alright, draws Ash, which is gonna be good against Desires. Brings out Bailinx, Falco, Set Will. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. He, he has game because he had sent the Will. It was so weird to send Will there, but because he did it. It's actually going to get him this game because Jack on Bailinx bring itself out. Uh, Will bring out Falco. Go for update, then go for transcode, and then game. Uh, 8100 damage. So he's just going to link those two in the Wolf. So he's playing around Nib. Uh, Will bring out Wolf. Add back Falco. So he's not playing around Nib. This is so weird. He's going for his own Zero Boros. So maybe he just doesn't play the transcode package. I don't know. Zero Boros attack. That's a 6,800. So he's left at 12. End of battle evenly to banish Will. I guess it's a good time to use it because next turn is Zero Boros is coming back. He's not going to be able to use it then. Draws Mind Control. Oh. Oh, that's game. As long as he doesn't summon the Zero Boros to one of these two zones. Or the middle zone or that zone. Oh, he didn't. Okay, he's doing good so far. Desires. Oh, that's going to trigger Ash. Mind control, take zero Boros, and yeah, that's game, because he just takes it, and then attacks with his own zero Boros, and it's over 8,000, it's ganging uh, 6,000 right now, almost, 58, but that's it for the video, like, comment, and subscribe, the DB Grinder, signing off.